Kenya's infrastructural growth is evident by the numerous ongoing construction projects. Kenya Vision 2030 aims to transform Kenya and provide high quality life to all citizens by 2030, with the infrastructure sector being one of the foundations of the Vision's three pillars. The coastal region of Kenya has several government-initiated infrastructural projects that are underway with some nearing completion. The 4.5 billion Kenya shillings Makupa Causeway Bridge is evidently taking shape with construction works expected to be complete by July 2022. How we are constructing is, is first we are elevating what you may call a vibe like a bridge. And we're going to pick it up from the bed of um, uh, the sea. It's very interesting uh, technology. Um, um, dredging the sea to to plant not no more columns that you see, it's a pile that you dig deep into the seabed. So we have um, a, about 126 of those piles to be done. And so far we've done 126. Mm -hmm. So we are out of the floor bed. Local suppliers have benefited from the project because most of the materials are locally sourced. This has in turn improved the country's economy. You know that our industries are grown, so we don't import cement, we don't import steel. Our agri is also purchased locally. There is very little. I think the importations on works like this <coughs> will maybe be equipment, the heavy equipment. But small hand tools are also bought locally. And Mombasa is able to produce all those, so you can very well imagine, therefore, we're saying out of a total investment of 144 billion, roughly 90 billion shillings is actually left here in Mombasa to benefit the local economy. Another road infrastructure project is the Miritini Mwache Kipevu Link Road, which is complete and in use. The project, which feeds the Mombasa port, Moi International Airport, SGR Mombasa Terminus, the Mombasa Nairobi Highway, the upcoming Northern Bypass, as well as the Mwache to Dongokundu to Kibundani Road, cost 11.5 billion Kenya shillings. The access roads have enhanced access, efficiency and reduced congestion as well as reducing operating cost and improved the turnaround time at the port of Mombasa and Mo International Airport. Construction of this road entailed the expansion of the road to a dual carriage in order to improve the existing port trees and Mo International Airport access roads covering 6.4 kilometers. The Mwache Tsunza Mteza Road, which starts at Mwache Interchange, runs southly, crossing the Mwache Creek and going through Tsunza, then eastwards across the Mteza Creek. The Mteza Kibundani Road will spread all the way to Lunga Lunga on the old Likoni Tanzania Highway. It would also be nice to appreciate the amount of investment government has put into the coast province at large. This is Tana River. Mombasa, Taita, and um, uh, Lamu. Government, in terms of completed projects, and planned projects, and also the ones that are, are, are ongoing, has so far um, has a target of 2,200 kilometers of road, either completed, ongoing, or planned. And this um, is a complement of investment. I've uh, calculated accurately, it's coming to about 144 billion Kenya shillings. A recent inspection by the National Development Implementation Technical Committee, NDITC, together with the Regional Development Implementation Coordination Committee, RDICC, of the Kwajomvu Mariakani Dual Carriage, brought to light challenges slowing down its completion. Kuna mambo ya kuhusu fidia ya wale ambao wanatakiwa wa songe, njoo tupatia na barabara na fasi ya kujengwa, Na hizo vitu tunajaribu kuzitatua pamoja na the National Lands Commission na wizara 
inayohusika na mambo ya barabara wale ambao wamepeleka serikali kotini ukifika hapo kwa jomvu na unaona barabara ina hang kwa sababu hatuwezi kukamilisha na mtu ako na factory hapo chini na amekataa kusongesha amekataa kupewa fidia tunataka kuwaomba kwanza waweke nchi yao kwanza wafikirie pia wakazi wa eneo hili wafikirie nia na utu wao wa kusaidia wananchi kwanza The Changamu Interchange is a crucial section of the Mombasa Mariakani A109 road project. It falls under lot 1 of the Mombasa kwa Jomvu section project and it is 98% complete. The old Changamu roundabout has been replaced by the three lane interchange, the access road to the harbor and the road to airport intersects at this interchange. The Mombasa kwa Jomvu project is 12 kilometers in total. We are doing three lanes each side which makes it six lane dual carriageway with three major interchanges at Changamwe, Mikindani and Kwajomvu. All the three interchanges have got slip roads to ease movement around the interchanges. The travel time has already drastically reduced from town to Jomvu from 2 hours 3 hours before to currently just about 30 minutes and once we complete it should even go lower. Nimekaa hapo miaka 12. Nashukuru sana serikali vile imesaidia sana hii barabara. Kulikuwa na chamu sana hapa hapa Alinio. Changamo ilikuwa kitoka mjini kule. Ifika hapo na ulichukua karibu wanawa. Sasa hiyo unachukua kama dakika tano hivi tayari ushafika huko. Tungependa hata ile fresh ikimalisika itakuwa sasa imekaa tele chamu kabisa ambapo ilikuwa nasumbua hapa. Hapa ni hapa Changamwe. This port is a, a very important cog in turning uh, the economic development of this country and therefore the efficiency of the port is very important. Our best measure of whether we are moving forward or not is the private sector. We are not here because uh, the port of Mombasa has any problem in the projects that are going on. In fact, they will be delivered in a timely manner. The projects have created job opportunities for local contractors and construction workers. Hao wote unaona wataalamu na waandisi ni wakenya wenzetu wale ambao wanafanya kazi za mkono hapo ni wakenya ambazo wameajiriwa na hizi miradi na wao wengi wamepata hela za kusaidia eh, jamii zao. Wanabiashara wengi kila mahali unapoangalia kila mahali unaona biashara mpya ambazo zimetokea upon completion this bigger project will not only boost the economic activities of the coastal region but will also position the coastal region as an attractive destination for investment and tourism locally and internationally Mombasa is a gateway for people and goods uh, and a destination that uh, is uh, one of the most significant in the coastal area uh, and therefore when we have ease and ease access to and out of the island that in itself uh, makes the destination more attractive Mombasa is one of the areas that has been earmarked to be a destination for mice which is meetings uh, incentives conferences and events and therefore again this is what uh, will make it more attractive very much in sync with the recovery of tourism uh, because our recovery uh, period is established is estimated to start in 2023 when now we will be at our pre covid uh, uh, numbers so we are in good time for the for better times ahead <laughs>